so we are headed out for the day finally it's like 10 30. going to shibuya shibuya for those of you who are new here it's a very very busy little part of tokyo that i do like the first time we came here that's where i stayed i got my fill of shibuya personally i don't want to stay there that's why i'm staying in Ibisu. literally one train stop over one of your big decisions when you come here is going to be where you're going to stay there's a lot of places to stay it really depends on what you want to do i would definitely 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 stay on one of the main train lines i prefer to stay on the yamanote lime green line just central to most everything that I want to do and when I'm done eating at night I can just go right back to my spot. Last time we were in Takada no Baba, a little a little further out than I prefer for the only reason of when you're going home and you're tired it's an extra you know 20-30 minutes on the trip so in this instance we can just walk straight for like a mile and we'll be in Shibuya. We have to go to Shibuya because we have a pocket Wi-Fi waiting for us and then I have no idea. Eat some fucking food because I'm starving. Shibuya is probably like half as busy as it normally is as well. There's definitely, definitely not as many tourists in town right now as there were last year. That is for sure, for certain. I stopped by Ginki, Ginki Sushi. It's a conveyor belt touchscreen sushi. Now there's levels to sushi. It's really expensive, high dollar, crazy. You could, I mean, you could spend probably fucking five grand on a dinner if you wanted to. And there's really cheap, still good uh, conveyor belt sushi. Now, once you taste the high level shit, you're gonna realize why there's levels to this motherfucking shit. But when you're starving like I was just now, uh, that conveyor belt sushi is clutch and it's still better than probably 70% of the sushi in the state. It was $13 for all of it. So there's the fact that it's, you know, $2 a roll. And chill here for a minute, not fall asleep, figure out where I wanna go. It's like around one o'clock right now. So we got a little time to figure out where we're gonna go, where we're gonna go what we're gonna do. So um, like I was saying earlier, you gotta decide what neighborhood you wanna stay in. Like down here, Shibuya, Abisu, uh, Shinjuku, it's really busy, it's really commercial. It's gonna feel a lot like you're in New York City. You know, they're just like shopping, they in restaurants for days. You know, you can look up a, on a building marquee and just see 20 floors of restaurants. I've gone down to Shibuya hundreds of times and every, even today, I saw shit that I'd never seen before in places that I've definitely been. It's just endless. I mean, you could spend your whole life here, I feel like, and never, never see it all. You could spend your whole life probably in one neighborhood and never see it all. Personally, I want to go explore something new that I haven't seen. I don't know if that'll happen today, but I'm going to do some research online and spent a lot of time drawing. Uh, I've been here for a couple of hours. We, uh... I sat down and just started drawing. I put on the Sopranos and started drawing. Now it's been like an hour or two. It's 3.30? No, 2.30. 2.30. Can't read clocks. I don't know where to go. There's an AI exhibit at the Mori. We've been to the Mori a few times, almost every time we've been here. Usually the Mori is pretty disappointing. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's it's cool, it's awesome. Like, yay, art, you know, like I like art museums sometimes, but it's down in Rapongi, it's gonna be busy as hell. So I'm not gonna go down there this afternoon because it's already late. I don't know, I'm just gonna cruise around Ibisu. I think. Plum blossoms, you know, a lot of people are very, very fond of the cherry blossom, the Sakura. But we're gonna go look at that plum blossom. Repeating theme of this color purple not like the movie, but I keep seeing this color of purple this certain shade of purple everywhere I don't know what it means, but I keep seeing it So uh, I think we should go, go down there and there's a ramen spot called a fury which means higher I've eaten it one time with elbow, but I kind of want to try and eat it again. It's a chain. They're kind of all over But it's a good chain. You're stuck on that の花火と力を合わせて人を癒し笑顔にすることができる。僕は花火になることに決めた。そして大切な花火の名前をもらった。青くてキラキラした大きい花火の名前だ。相変わらず不安だったし緊張もした。でも花火大会に向けてみんな
into the garden and we uh, ran into a digital fireworks yard. And this little area right here, this above me, below me, around me, this used to be the uh, Yibisu beer factory. But now it's this garden area. Okay, now an ice cream, son. I heard good things about Blue Seal. But look at this. Look at this moderate, very reasonable one scoop of ice cream. You know, one scoop. Erka Bashi Park. Named after the bridge executed St. Louis World's Fair, 1904. Erka Bashi. Crushed a fury. That was good. Not my favorite flavor. It's sh shio, shoyu, shoyu, shoyu ramen. Uh, the noodles are really thin. It's good. It's got a not rich. It's not super rich. So it's not like tonkatsu, but uh, it's not really. It doesn't have like the same flavor as some of the other stuff that I really like. Ramen Camaro's chicken ramen. It's a whole different vibe. I like this clock, I like this clock update. I feel like I'm in Lost or something, but 6.30. So I came back here around four, rush hour started around, or maybe five, maybe 4.30, 4.45. Uh, I came back here, I've been drawing a little bit, just chilling, drawing, listening to the Pranos. Those of you who have followed these Japanese journeys know very well what's coming. You all know what's about to happen. You know where I'm going. Two days in, what happens every time? I gotta go see my girl. My girl is Jira Porn. That's her name, Jira Porn. The Thai massage lady. My legs are cooked. We've done like 20 miles in two days. We're gonna do a little more miles. We're gonna walk over there because it's only like 20 minute walk. So we're gonna walk over back to Shibuya and we're gonna go see our girl and we're gonna get rubbed down, son. Rubbed down. Now I know a lot of you guys think this is a different kind of massage. It's not, it's just a Thai massage. When you come to Tokyo, you should totally go check out my home girl. She will fucking improve your whole life. So I'm gonna walk down there. I'm not taking a camera. I'm done vlogging for the day with this big old heavy ass goddamn camera. And I'm gonna walk my ass down there. I'm gonna walk my ass back and I'm gonna probably grab some more food. But I got my phone, so we're good to go. But let's hit these streets again, dog. Let's go. This no eat shit is amazing. I gotta be honest, you know, like sometimes, sometimes when you're so high, not being high is a new high. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's, I think it's just habitual. I think I just habitually like to smoke, take dabs and shit like that. It's like a habit. A lot of times during the day, I find myself being like, oh, I need to go do this. And I don't need to go do it. I just am used to doing it. Um, pretty interesting. My sleep has been fine so far. Probably because I'm just exhausted. Uh, no crazy dreams that I can remember. Appetite's coming back. Um, I've never been one to like lose my appetite for long. <laughs> It is not pointing. I feel like the clock thing is getting repetitive, so it's uh, it's 12 10. 12. So, uh, I've been up for a while, I got some work done this morning. We're tattooing today, so we're going to meet Toshi right now. We're gonna go to Ikebikuro, Toast Dog, and we're gonna do a dragon tat, and I'm sure we're gonna eat food. Toshi's really busy, he's actually headed to Europe pretty soon so he's not I don't even know if he's really around the whole trip I can't remember what he said but uh so Andy's just busy in general he has two kids so he can really hang out like every day and I feel bad because he makes all this extra time for me when because he's super polite and Japanese and sometimes I feel bad because he'll do he'll do stuff that maybe I feel like he doesn't want today's tip in Japan travel getting around now we're gonna go on the subway train stations there's so many different trains the trains here are owned by corporations they have different JR, there's other ones. I can't remember the names of them right now. I forgot to tell you, don't talk on the goddamn trains. The only people you'll ever hear talking on the trains are foreigners. Don't be that foreigner. Don't talk on the train. Shut the fuck up. Don't drink. Don't, well, you can take a sip of your drink. Don't be eating crazy, drinking. It's not New York City, dog. On the motherfucking trains. When you come out here, don't misrepresent our entire nation by being a loudmouth. What you need to do, what I do, you can do it. Few different things 
you can just get a little ticket like for the day when you come in town you can go to the machine and get a day ticket uh you can go to the machine and get like a i think a week pass maybe do you even get a week pass i don't think so i think you can get a day ticket yeah or you can buy per fares you know like wherever you're going you can just pay for that fare personally and you get a sweet what's called a suica suica i don't know how you say it suica sika sika card palm palmo card there's so many different little cards shit you can get there's like a physical card credit card that you load up and you carry it around and you can use that i don't get the cards anymore i used to get the card first there's also an app and you just put the app on your phone which makes it super easy just like your wallet it goes right in your wallet card you don't gotta fiddle with the machines you're gonna do all that stupid shit and then that card works in all kinds of places, especially around the train station. You can pretty much buy food at restaurants. Aputo last night, which is not really near the train station, that I was able to put that on my card. So it really comes in handy. You don't have to use so much cash because a lot of Japan, when you come here, you definitely need to bring cash. A lot of places don't take card. It's a very, you know, that's what I like about Japan. It's a nice mixture of super technologically advanced, super old world. No, very simple, you know? So I like it. I like that dichotomy, I guess. Anyway, yeah, get yourself a little, save yourself some trouble, download some app, one of the apps you want to use, and, um, you know, travel in style. But let's travel in style right now. Toshi. Everybody <laughs> said they're waiting on your smile. That's what they said. Awesome. Everybody loves Toshi. What are we going to eat? Gyoza, ramen, sushi. Sushi. I'm pretty full. Okay. But sushi, I can also just get a snack. It doesn't matter. Snack. Sushi, gyoza. Yeah, maybe that one. Gyoza. Yeah. I'm down grab it. Yeah. Oh. Studio. It's like complete it's like, for how you tattoo. It's like a, a stick. <laughs> That's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Japan, future, past, past, future. Down for whatever you want to do, my friend. If you think there's better, we go better. If you like that place, we go that place. So to Toshi. Also, Toshi has turned me on to some islands that we might go find. And we got the flea market tomorrow. Well, we don't know if Toshi's gonna go, but I'm definitely going to the flea markets tomorrow. I have almost no room in my suitcase, so I really should not buy anything, but oh. <laughs> if I gotta throw away a hoodie, I gotta throw away a hoodie. I don't know what else to tell you. No, I won't throw away a hoodie. I'll maybe throw away some pants, some old pants. And tummy comb. Tummy comb, yeah. So <laughs> she wants to go eat tummy gum. <laughs> the uh, what the Okinawan the Okinawa seaweed the little grape. Oh yeah, yeah from yeah, the yeah. snake shop place. Umi budo. What's it called? Umi budo. What is it? Grape seaweed. Budo means grape. Okay. Umi is uh, ocean. That shit's fire. <laughs> shit is good, son. <laughs> Toshi, he's going home. We'll find out later if he can come with us tomorrow. We're leaving Ikebukuro, and it's pretty much just time to go chill. Sushi was fucking amazing. Always the best. I'm going with Toshi, because he finds the low key spots. That sushi place is so old, 50 years old. It's from the Edo period, so they don't even serve salmon, because it's too goddamn new school. That's that authentic shit. Earn, you missed it. We love you, we miss you, dog. but. You missed the authentic shit. You gotta come back. Another trip. <sighs> All right. Um. So came back, went to sleep. This morning I got up at 3:30 because we have the drop in the United States. My dumbass schedules. Every time I'm in Japan, I schedule the drop for normal times. So I had to get up at 3 a.m. because it was noon. 4 a.m. because it was noon. Drop time in the U.S. So. The drop is live. Uh, for anyone who missed out, there's there's some stuff left. Embroidered, a lot of people have been asking about these embroidered rumor and rules hoodies that we're doing. Those are dropping probably next week. I'll still be in Japan when they drop, but they're they're dropping. They're coming soon. They're back up for friends. Toshi cannot go. He's got stuff to do with his wife and kids, so he cannot come to the 
I'm so tired. He can't come to the flea markets. So there's two flea markets. One we went to before, the other one I've never been to. We're gonna try and find it. I'm excited because the flea markets here got some cool shit. I mean, cool shit for me. I don't think a, a lot, not everybody loves these weird little like Japanese characters and shit, but gods and stuff, but I, I'm obsessed, obviously. So hopefully we can find some cool shit. Probably shit that I don't need to buy. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Today's tip is gonna be food. So. A lot of people ask me, I get most often asked questions is where do I eat and what is the best, you know? Where's the best gyoza? Where's the best ramen? Where's the best? There is no best, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is no best. There's a lot of places, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of and I can give you recommendations in each neighborhood, you know, like for sure, places I've been that I'm like, man, that place is amazing. Like the sushi place last night. But I don't know the name of that place. That's the type of place that Toshi just takes me to. No English, you know, really old, traditional just method of dining and I couldn't tell you I couldn't tell you you know what I mean and even if I did tell you it would probably be pretty hard to find uh, probably pretty hard to find a maneuver I, I, I don't know I think my main advice there's a restaurant you really want to check out like you really really want to check it out or you're here for a super limited amount of time I don't want to waste any meals then there's for sure like top recommendations some of my top recommendations are ramen Kimuro, Usagi for ramen. Those are in Aputo. Aputo is my favorite chain by far. A lot of people like the Afuri, but it's uh, it's not my favorite chain. And that Afuri actually just opened in Portland. There's one in Portland because Portland has soft water so they can make the ramen the proper way. Pretty interesting. So if you're in Portland and you want a little flavor from Japan, there's also Aputo. The Aputos in the United States are way different. But anyway, back to my whole. My tip for eating in Japan, the way that I would do it, the way that I do do it usually, unless I'm just going somewhere that I know, is just to wander. You know, I would just wander around, wander in. Your best bet as far as finding some really good shit. Uh, if you can figure out the name of the restaurant, you can Google the reviews and, and, and see if it's reviewed well. Obviously help you minimize whether or not it's a trash spot or not. But yeah, I mean, really, the real experience of it all is just kind of wandering in and out of these shops and wandering in and out of these restaurants and trying something that you really never thought that you would you don't even know what it is half the time. I think that's the beautiful part about it is just exploring. My real tip for you is you can find a couple of like high key spots that people know about, this, that, and the third, but man, I would just walk around. If you see a line of people outside, chances are it's fucking good as shit. People don't really line up for bad food, but good is subjective. Ramen, there's certain ramens that I don't like. Like some tonkatsu ramens are so heavy and rich that I'm not into it. Fish ramen, not into it all. So it can be a gamble. You may end up wasting some money and some food because you don't like it. But at the same time, a bowl of ramen is like eight bucks. So it's not like you wasted, you know, at least it wasn't like a $70 meal or some shit. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, re recommendations are, are easy. You know, there's a lot of like famous places, you know, people always with sushi, oh, I wanna go to Jiro Sushi. I don't have any desire to go there. I, I've had better sushi experiences just hanging out with Toshi, having him take me and uh, him just being like, what do you want? So I'm not that crazy with sushi. I'm pretty level. I don't eat too much crazy stuff. I eat fish that I recognize some octopus, eel, uh, but all the eggs and the crazy, crazy stuff, I, I, I'm not my favorite, you know what I'm saying? That's my advice on food. Let's, uh, oh God, let's journey out. As these flea markets open early as hell, so we don't even have hours. Well, one says 7 a.m., but the other one says sunrise, so. The sun's out, so we should go. Water. Took two trains, took maybe, 20 minutes and we're looking for the flea market. Sword Museum exhibit over here too. March 14th. It's not March 14th. God damn it. Sunday morning, train stations are in peace. made it out of there without buying anything but I don't know if I got it on film but the fucking flag the things like hand painted huge and it was 150 bucks
thousand. Yeah. Eight thousand a year, right? Ah, deal. <laughs> Thank you. Like, how the fuck could I possibly, possibly pass on this? This was $150. $150 hairs, bro. Look at it. I mean, fuck. A little fireman mask, and he's, he's making those lips. He's blowing because he's uh, blowing out the fire. And one of his eyes is usually closed because he's gotten, like, hot soot in his eye. This thing was... Ten dollars, so sick. Little Japanese netsuke, which is a wood carving. This right here, a little wood carving skull. Ten bucks. Kitsune, man, Kitsune. Come on, bitch. Kitsune for Alex. Ten bucks. And then we got that carving over here. This. Is, so I've been not putting in the Daruma shirt for a long time. I've been wanting to. Just haven't gone around to doing it. Not knowing which uh, direction I want to go with it. I'm not gonna unwrap this. So I just. just uh, it's the last thing I think I filmed at the flea market, but this Daruma wood carving, dude, insane. I gotta figure out how to get that home. Probably just mail it tomorrow. Post office right there. 60 bucks. 60 dollars. Oh, 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 wait. That's not it. There's one other really sick fucking thing I got. We got the crow feather. I don't know if it's a crow, but look at that thing. Shit's sick, dude. I'm gonna go hang out with Kuro. We'll probably get dinner. Um... It's probably all that's gonna happen the rest of the day, and then I gotta figure out what to do. Toshi's put me onto these islands, man. I'm about to go to the islands, I think. I don't know. This place I have until the 28th, which is quite a few days away, so I may end up going early. I don't, I don't, I haven't really figured it out. So I'll probably go eat with Kuro and then come back here and figure out what my next plan should be because I feel it's going to the islands. There's this island dog, secret island. It's gonna be crazy if we make it over there. <laughs> So we just got back from uh, hanging with Kuro and the boys. Good time, nice time, did some studio time, some eating, a little bit of secret stuff. Uh, got some gyoza, and then they uh, they gave me this, Jap people in Japan are so nice and polite. It's amazing. Uh, they gave me this bag of snacks as a gift. They usually, people like to give gifts here. So they went to 7-Eleven and got me all these snacks to bring up. And also came and picked me up, hung out with me. You know, hooked it up. Yeah, pretty awesome. But it's pretty late. I'm pretty tired now. Well, it's not that late. It's like fucking 1020, but I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I got up really, really early this morning. I know I've said it. No idea what's next, dog. Time to figure it out. Fall after the with disability, more than a mile or less, Wednesday. 